The master setting gauge for the digital thread depth instrument is designed to set the zero location on a thread plug gauge that is ground to within a half a pitch. Setting the thread depth instrument to zero on the master gauge. Pull back the encoder sleeve far enough to see the inner gauge stem. Then use the knurled sleeve locking screw to hold the sleeve back for the next step. Place the thread plug gauge into the tapered hole and firmly press fit it in. Release the locking screw. The gauge at this point may be sticking out of the front of the sleeve or sitting behind the sleeve face. The front face of the encoder sleeve is where the reading from zero will take place. Relock the encoder sleeve once it is as far forward as it will travel. Loosen the three set screws on the rear knurled knob with a 1 16th hex key. The knurled knob and the thread protruding out should now turn freely within each other. Place the master setting gauge with the recessed end up on a flat surface. Align the thread plug gauge into the recess of the master setting gauge. The front face of the encoder sleeve needs to be flush, sitting directly on the face of the master gauge. If the gauge is protruding out too far and does not allow the encoder sleeve to sit flush, then hold the knurled knob while turning the threaded stem until the front of the gauge is hitting the bottom of the recess and the faces of the encoder sleeve both touch their respective surfaces. After confirming that the gauge and the face of the encoder sleeve are touching correctly, lock the three set screws so the gauge stays in its set position. If the display is off, press the set key once to turn on and display to zero. If the display is already on, press the set key to set to zero. The instrument is now ready to measure thread depth. Gauge removal. The opposite end of the master setting gauge functions as a gauge removal tool. Slide the encoder sleeve back to expose the thread member. Lock the encoder sleeve with the sleeve locking screw. Thread the master gauge onto the thread gauge. Using the two radiuses on the master gauge, pull quickly and the gauge will come out of the handle. For more information on our thread gauges and thread checks other products and services, please visit our website at www.threadcheck.com.